Hey guys, this is Coffee Chug. Today what I want to do is begin a small series using Minecraft to teach the concepts of coding. And so I know that there's many ways and you can use Minecraft with Raspberry Pi and the Python coding and a whole different way with mods and so forth. But what if you are the student or a teacher or classroom that all you have is Minecraft? I don't say just all you have because the, the possibilities are endless. But what if you don't have all those other options that you're playing? So we're going to take a look at, within the world of Minecraft, how you can teach basic, simple coding concepts. In this episode, we're going to take a look at building, in this case, a train car that will go back and forth based on a push button. And we can see some of the stuff here already. Now. When we talk about coding, one of the things that we have to think about from time to time is the idea that when we start, we're going to be building without logic. What I mean by that is that there's going to be nothing happening in our coding uh, where gates are, say, think of it as, as a gate or a door opening and closing. It's either going to be on or it's going to be off, and there's no sort of like decision making going to be happening. This is the very beginning of coding, and when I work with students, this is where we start, just so they can understand the simple flow of how things work. So, if we are in Minecraft, um, down here I've got several different things in my, in my dispense down here. I have a button that we're going to be using. I have redstone. I also have a lever that we can use. I've just got a block. This can be any kind of block that you want. I have a redstone torch and powered rail and a cart. The rest of these are not really important. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to build our powered rail. And if you know anything about Minecraft, this is something that I always forget and have to be reminded of, is that your powered rail can share power for up to 10 blocks. So we're gonna go ahead and add these. And we're gonna actually do 11. So we got four here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So with 11, what that means is that one of these is not gonna be able to be powered up. We're then gonna go through, and we're gonna insert a box here. Or All right, and then we're going to come down here and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add another wall We're going to stick a torch on top and then we're going to add a button off on the side. Now, what we would see if we were to put a torch over here just for so you can kind of see how this works, you can see that it'll light up all but one. And so that's really what we're after here. And then we're just going to add some redstone from this block. There's my 11 there. So now it just lights up, it should. our redstone torch here. So now when you look at this, I got this torch here and it can power up to 10. And so we have a track here that's not lit up. But when we hit the button, it's going to light it up and away we go. So we should be able to stick a cart here. and it should move the cart down the track. The button pushes off and it stops. 
So what's happening is I turn this on, it kicks the cart down, it bounces off this wall. It'll come back with this powered rail, it doesn't have any power now, so it stops. So this is just very simple, basic level coding of like an on-off. There's no logic to this, it's just, it's, no it's not on, yes it's on. So the very similar thing could be done in Minecraft with making a house. So if we were to just build a house here. For the sake of time, I'm just going to do the front so you have an idea. And we're going to go in here to our doors. Uh, let's see. Let's go with. There we go. And let's stick in. I'm doing it just making a basic rail just to show you something real simple here. But the idea is the same. And so what we want to be able to, for kids to see is that we can use redstone to teach the basic levels of coding. From here we can start to build and or gates and a lot of different things which you've probably seen all sorts of crazy machines that use redstone in their build to make things happen. So now we're just dropping in the redstone here. And so now what can happen is you should see the door open when we hit the lever. There it is. And now we can walk into our house. So what we've got, two different examples, powering a cart using redstone with a button, and then opening a door using redstone um, with a lever switch. Once again, creating code without logic. This is very similar to the Hello World type program that you would use if you use Arduino or Raspberry Pi or try to power on lights. And so this is just the beginning. Think about the unlimited opportunities and potential. And so what I'm looking for here is let me know what you think about this. What are your thoughts around coding within Minecraft? Um, things that you have done. I'd like to feature those things if you've used some coding measures. And in the next episode, we're going to talk about, you know, kind of getting logical with Redstone and establishing, using, creating, and building gates, you know, around the terms of and and not and other logic gates that start to come into play and understanding when to use gates, when not to use gates, and which ones to use. Um, so we're going to get going here in the next episode. But in the meantime, I hope you found this helpful. Leave a comment, question, concern, and I look forward to sharing the next step of how to teach coding within Minecraft.